In this problem, we want to find all pairs of integers x, y that satisfy the equation x squared plus 3xy minus 2y squared equals to 122. So when we first look at this problem, we can notice that this is a classic style Dalvin equation, where we're basically on the hunt for integer solutions. However, at first glance, it seems tricky because of the mixed x, y term. And then, if we test small, small integer values for x and y, well, it won't seem to yield to some real solutions. So hence that we might need a more clever approach than simple trial and error. So here's a breakdown on how to solve this problem. First of all, we must tame the equation by completing the square. That middle term, 3xy here, 3xy is the most annoying part of the equation. Our first goal is to eliminate it. A powerful technique for this is completing the square. To make the numbers work out nicely with the 3xy term, let's multiply the entire equation by 4. And you'll see in a moment why we do this. 4 times x squared plus 3xy minus 2y squared equals to 4 times 122. So we'll have 4x squared plus 12xy minus 8y squared equals to 488. Now we can see the beginning of a perfect square involving a 4x squared and 12xy terms. This looks like the start of the 2x plus 3y in parentheses squared. Let's see what happens when we expand that. If you compare this with 2x plus 3y squared, 2x plus 3y squared will give us 4x squared plus 12xy plus 9y squared. To get this into our equation, we can substitute 4x squared plus 12xy as 4x squared plus 12xy will equal to 2x plus 3y squared minus 9y squared. So after substitution, we'll have 2x plus 3y squared minus 9y squared in parentheses and then minus 8y squared equals to 488. So then we can just combine the y squared terms. So we'll have 2x plus 3y squared minus 17y squared plus 8 plus 9y squared equals to 17y squared equals to 488. This is already an improvement. We should transform the equation into a much more structured and famous form. Now, let's make a simple substitution to see this clearly. We can let 2x plus 3y, we can let this portion inside the parentheses equal to u. Why do we do this? Well, since x and y are integers, u must also be an integer. Our equation will become u squared minus 17y squared equals to 488. Now, this is a Pell-like equation. Which, is, which has the general form of the Pell-like equation has the form of u squared minus dy squared equals to n. This is a major area of number theory. 
Now we could dive into the full theory of how to solve this, but in Math Olympiads, there's a more elegant shortcut. Before we try to find solutions, we should first ask, do the solutions even exist? So the most powerful tool to check for the existence of integer solutions is modular arithmetic. We can analyze the equation modulo n, which means that looking at the remainders when each side is divided by n. The number 17 in our equation, u squared minus 17y squared equals to 488, is a prime number and a perfect candidate for modulus. So let us consider the equation modulo 17. So basically, we want to have u squared minus 0 congruent to 488 minus 17. If you've never done congruence modulo before, this will mean that we want to find the remainder when 488 is divided by the modulus 17. The magic here is that 17 y squared is always a multiple of 17. So it will have a remainder of 0. So that's how we go from 17 y squared to 0. So we'll have u squared is congruent to 488 minus 17. Now we just need to figure out the remainder of 488 when divided by 17. And a quick calculation shows that 488 equals to 17 times 28 plus 12, giving that u squared is congruent to 12 minus 17. Now the problem now boils down to one question. Can you find an integer u whose square gives a remainder of 12 and divided by 17? Now, in number theory, we are asking if 12 is a quadratic residue modulo 17. So, let's just list all the possible remainders of perfect squares modulo 17. We only need to check numbers from 0 to 8, since notice that 17 minus k squared is congruent to negative k squared, congruent to k squared minus 17. Now, after you check it, you'll find that all the numbers from 0 squared to 8 squared, none of them have a modulo, have a remainder of 12 when divided by 17. And if you list them out, you'll see that the possible set of remainders are going to be 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, 13, 15, and 16. 0 to 8 squared. Notice that 12 is not on this list. This means that there is no integer u such that u squared is congruent to 12 minus 17. Here, we have reached a contradiction. So, the contradiction means that there are no integer solutions to this problem. Our original equation can only have integer solutions x, y. If we can't find an integer u that satisfies u squared is congruent to 12 minus 17, we just prove that no such integer exists. Such, the answer to this question would actually just be no integer solutions. So the answer to this problem is no integer solutions. And that is how you solve this problem.